Hi everyone, welcome to Think Past Impact. You need to think past impact if you really want to hit your longest drives. Most people think to impact and don't really care about what happened over here. But to hit it as far as possible, you also need to understand what happens after impact. When most people think about hitting a golf ball, they think about what's happening before impact. We talk about lag, we talk about release, but we rarely talk about what's happening on this side. If I hit a golf ball and I'm not doing the whole release, I'm going from one bent arm to two extended arms. I will probably slice the ball because the release stops right here and the club will the toe will point out there and pointing it out there too long will give you a slice. Let's try it. Two straight arms. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Bending or folding that arm will actually close the club and move the club a lot further. This is the other part of the release lag, release, and then fold. So let's hit one more and we do the whole release instead. So now I'm gonna fold that arm and go over my lead shoulder. If I do that in time, it will be a nice draw. A nice draw. You need to think about again what you think about. What's your plan for hitting a golf ball? We think about release, we think about hitting a golf ball, but what's that really for you? We bend, extend, and bend again. On this side, most work is happening in my trail arm, but this is a backhand throwing motion in my lead arm, holding that stiff straight too long will not give you a full release. Folding for longer drives, that's important. 